Hey everybody, Gomer the Ranting Thespian back again with Mega Man 3. Now I realized that, um, that when I started doing this, I realized that another guy, Space Ninja, was going through with his own playthrough of Mega Man 3. Now I know I'm taking a few minutes here because I actually had to adjust something. And I'm also trying to decide which Robot Master to go to. Because uh, I can beat pretty much all of them with the arm cannon if I need to. I'm going to go with Snake Man. Because I'm an ophidiophobe and I need to face my fear. <laughs> Uh, for those who couldn't figure it out from context, an ophidiophobe is, an is somebody who has an irrational fear of snakes. Now, if you'll notice, yes, this is actually a uh, a hacked ROM here for, on the emulator. Because um, at one point, I liked the, I liked the idea of having uh, hearts for your life meter, so I just put them there. Plus, I also had a patch put on this to where the enemies would have a little power meter when they would come on the screen. You know, as you could probably see up there. So, um, yeah, so I, for some reason I didn't put the original back on here when I put it on the Wii, but that's okay. Ow. Boom. Big snake. Big snake, go down, boom. Wah. Okay, you, come here. Yeah, and no, I'm not going to use the infamous, uh, trick that you can use the second controller for. I'm not going to do that. So it's going to be pure, just pure playthrough here, so. Even though I easily could... Oh, look at this. They they didn't fix it, I don't think, until the next Mega Man game. But um, if you hold down the uh, Turbo A button, Mega Man will do a little hop when you try and slide more. But the next game, he just keeps... Ow. Asshole. Don't hit me when I'm trying to shoot you. Yeah. Hammer Joe. And he dies. Yay. Ah, uh, so. You know, I woke up this morning. Fell out of bed. No, I didn't. Um, I started I started watching my day, usual uh, YouTube people. Uh, I was watching one of them. And uh, she went on about prostitution. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. And, you know, a lot of people have, like, definitely varying different opinions about it. Which I would kind of hope so. Because it would be kind of boring if everybody agreed on the same thing all the time. You know, life would be, you know, just, you know, you may as well want to go and kill yourself because it's so boring. No, actually, don't go and kill yourself if life is that boring. Uh, you know, I do not advocate that. <laughs> but, um, but seriously, though, I mean, she did it, she did, it's actually her third video on the topic. Which is kind of amazing because it's like, the reason why she's made so many videos about it is because, well, basically, uh, people keep rebutting her on it. And what, and in short, what she's fighting for is um, you know, legalized prostitution between consenting adults. You know, taking the stigma away. And some of her points that she's made was like were were among like um, I'm trying to do this from memory here because I don't have her video in front of me. But one of the things that you know, really puts, you know, sex workers in a bind is the fact that, you know, because it's illegal, they could be abused or whatever, and there'd be very little help for them, especially if they were abused while in the act of selling sex. And, you know, and then you, and of course you get the, you get the people saying that sex is, you know, uh, prostitution is degrading for women and everything, and you know what, it's, it's no more degrading than you know, maybe cleaning a toilet or something. And even then, it all depends on who's doing the job. Like, I mean, I mean, it depends on what you would find degrading. Just because you would find something degrading doesn't mean that somebody else would find it degrading as well. Oh, look at this, NES Slowdown. Uh, so, you know, and, it, and, it's, and it's a matter of opinion on whether or not it's degrading. And don't, and don't try and write to me, and, well, 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 you can, I'll, I'll probably just scoff at you or something. But, um, but don't, don't go on about, oh, it's degrading, degrading, like, yeah, maybe for you, that doesn't mean it is for them. And yeah, sure, there are some women out there that have gotten into it because they thought, keyword thought, they had no other choice. When they do, they just decided to do it for whatever reason, you know. And to be fair, you know, maybe they didn't realize they had another choice. That's always possible. This is the best I've done on Snake Man in a while. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I'm jumping from game to prostitution? <laughs> Oh man, oh, just look at me. Uh, oh man, so yes, I got the search snake. Yay! 
And I've also got, you know, on my computer I've also got a chat room going. So I might look over there while, while some of these are going and give you something to talk about there. But, um, but yeah, um, and you know, despite, despite some of the stuff that I do talk about, you know, as far as, as far as like, you know, the dissenting opinions thing on prostitution, honestly, if you do have a dissenting opinion about it, uh, feel free to send it in, honestly. I know I'm kind of like backtracking already on some of the stuff that I've said. <laughs> you know, like, you know, well, maybe I'm not, I don't know, but, um, but still, either way, you know, if you, if you have a different opinion on it or whatever, feel free to send it in, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna necessarily bite off your head over it, you know, unless you're like totally wrong and saying that like, you know, prostitution will automatically give you AIDS, you know, then I will probably laugh at you because that, for one, is just stupid, and two, uh, there are plenty, plenty, plenty of women, in fact, one of which I know personally, who has went into prostitution, she's come out of it, and she's AIDS free. So, yeah. Uh, I really should make this into a rant video, you know, not use it on this, but, you know, it's just one of those topics I just had to talk. Oh! Almost made it. Oh, look at that. And he's right next to it, and it blows up. You know, it's like, huh. Whee! Yay, and we fall. Aww. No, 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 no. You know what? I'm getting it. I'm getting that one up. You're not gonna jip me out of a one up, damn it. Okay, maybe you are. <laughs> That's bad. That's, you're not gonna jip me. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to put. Didn't want to put too much effort into it because I kind of want to just get through this. Not that I don't like the level or anything. It's just you know, it's only 20 minute segments here. You know, so we gotta gotta keep it up. Um. Hey! Yay! These little poles. Uh, we. Uh, and look at this Gemini Man stage. It, I think they tried to make it the token ice stage, but it's not really icy, you know. It just looks icy, you know, with with like the with like the uh, raver. I guess it's rave ice. It's like raver ice stage or something. I don't know. With all the colors here. They're, except they're not, you know, they're not uh, seizure-inducing. Now this, oh man. So um, yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Now um, I actually released, you know, the uh, other Mega Man game, you know, Mega Man Two, all three parts in the same day, and somebody somebody suggested I not do that, <laughs> and, and I can see his point. You know, it's like okay, you know, you know, and I think I even responded to him said, yeah, you know, that's prob you probably have a good idea there. So, um, this is actually going to be, you know, you know, like just one per day type thing for right now. You know what? I'm getting you, 1-Up. Because 1-Ups are cool. I like bow ties. Bow ties are cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So, um, ooh, look at this. Yeah, ah. And look at you. Energy tank! And rush coil! Wow, Rush Coil is getting used a lot in this go-round. Oh, that was close. And up, there we go. And no, come, get over here. Yeah. And look at this. Eee. Ah, ha, ha. Thank goodness for Rapid Fire Turbo. Which is kind of redundant. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. Uh, refill the Rush Coil. Yeah, this was back before you had the Energy Balancer. You kids and your energy balancer, you're so spoiled. Yeah. Yeah, this is back before you kids had your energy balancers and your easy weapon switching. And uh, You kids are so spoiled. You're so spoiled, you kids. Get off my lawn. <laughs> uh -huh. I know, it's kind of weird how when, when it comes to video games, I can so easily enter old man Gomer mode. <laughs> it's so freaky. Uh, jump, 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 jump. And we yay! And it's Gemini Man, the man who can split in two. Yeah, and whoop! And that was easy, all too easy. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, sorry, I just had to take a sip of my pop again. I've got Mountain Dew this time which is really good which at Walmart they actually had a really good deal it was like five bucks for a 24 case of this shit 
So, and it was like for all Pepsi and Coke products. So naturally I got two cases of Mountain Dew, two cases of Pepsi. Yay. <laughs> and we're going to take on Needleman. Eee. Ah, uh, yes. You want to take, man? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, and you know they called. I think they called this guy Needle Harry in some magazines. He's I don't know why Harry. He's not very hairy. Spiky, yeah, but not hairy. I call him Spike. <laughs> I don't remember what his official name is. Hey, look, I met. And then this cannon thing, this ball cannon. He shoots balls. Try to teabag me. Ah, uh, excuse me. It's a real Gomer place now. Ah, uh, yes. So, we Oh, look at this. Oh, ow. Mm. Yay. Spiky death traps of death. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Wee. Ha, ha, ha. Didn't have to slide under you. Nee, 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 nee. Uh, really? <laughs> Does that thing just go through me without damaging me? Huh, that's pretty cool. And jump. No, oh, wrong area. Should do this. Yay! That's how you use a rush coil the right way, children. And what do we have up here? Oh, yes, Hammer Joe. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I know I realize I can use my uh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection disc to actually play all these, but I decided not to because they don't have the handy save states <laughs> to where I can't just quit whenever I need to. You know, I actually have to go through and do something and actually save it and load it, which can be kind of annoying. Oh man, I need to switch to this. Luckily, Middleman will just stand there until I. Okay, he won. Yeah. Ow! He hit me. He hit me with his head. He headbutted me. Come on. Oh! Oh, and I missed. Come on, come on. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. No, you stupid laser. Eek. Eek on bokum. Ah! That was balls. That was balls, man. Oh well. So that's what I get for missing with the Gemini laser. That's what I get. <laughs> uh, doom, 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 doom. Come here. Ah, really? One. Okay, I usually do not have this much problem with Needleman. I don't know why I am now. Two. Gemini laser to the face. There you go. <laughs> now that takes care of one loop of Robot Masters. This one is unique. And having two different, um, I you know, uh, weapon loops. I guess, I guess for uh, whatever, you know, lack of whatever term is good for it. And um, yeah, that was just one of them. And then you got the other one. Uh, oh, and I got a rush jet. Yay! I kind of like the rush jet in this game better. Um, you know what? Magnet man. Yay! Because magnets can be fun. Hmm, let's see. Dum, 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 uh, nothing much interesting in the chat room that I can see. Of course, I've got the uh, actual recording program that I'm using to record this over the chat, so it's like I can't really see much. I kind of defeated my own purpose there. Yay! Now, most of the time I would take this one on first, but I just kind of decided against it this time around, just to be different. Now we fight. Proto Man. And he actually has a life bar in this one. <laughs> because of that little thing. We. So, everything has a life bar. And everything has heart meter. Yay. So, um, definitely an interesting experience there. Um, let's see. We're about, what, 15 minutes in? Okay. Alright. And shoot you, shoot you. Come here. Kill you! Okay. Yeah. So, um... You know, what's funny is I got my cousin Brian up before, you know, we... Before I started this, and apparently he's went back to sleep. 
Uh, you know what? Just rush jet it. Yay. Yeah. Oh, really? That's kind of one of the only things that I don't like about this rush jet is if you um, have him start on something other than the platform you're on, he'll just go down there. He won't. He won't sit in midair. Hmm. I blame it kind of on uh, people who couldn't program it yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Burps were trying to come out. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. And I'm not going to worry. Okay, my Wii is possessed. Because <laughs> the disc just popped out of it. Thankfully, it doesn't really m matter much with this game. But um, if it had been doing it while I was playing the actual game, I think I have Brawl in there. I would be worried. So, yay, Magnet Man. And he... Looks like... Is it me here? Or does he look like he's trying to take a massive magnetic shit? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's thought this. You know, I mean, it just looks like, I'm going to get dump, and my dump will kill you, or something. I don't know. Me, this is not good. This is not good. Look at my, look at my life meter. That is not good. Thankfully, his pattern is pretty easy to to overcome. There you go. Bam. Boom, motherfucker! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Third power, yay. Mag no, fourth, I'm sorry. I was, why was I thinking third? No, it's the fourth. Magnet missile. Yeah. Hmm. Magnet missiles can be fun. Sort of. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Could they? Uh, hard man. <laughs> An one of the most unfortunately named robot masters ever. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> oh, it reminds me of um, I think it was Capcom that officially put out like uh, like Valentine's Day cards. One of them was Hard Man, or was it Capcom or was it uh, one of the fan sites? I don't actually quite remember right off. Uh, if anybody remembers, you know, leave a comment on this, and um, then everybody else will know. But um, one of the card set, one of the cards had Hard Man, and it was saying, well, you make me here, or, or, or when I think of you, I get, uh, you know, this just isn't working out, and, ow, okay, bastard, yeah, you wanna play that game, you wanna play that game with me, well, fine, fuck you, uh, so, um, so, it was, it was good, the little, dee -dee -dee, wee. yeah, yeah, we just blast him, and, come on, jump, Feeling froggy? Feeling froggy, monkey, monkey? Monkey, monkey. <laughs> I wonder... I have to wonder how much of a trend this is, because there have been times where I would see somebody, like, come online, and I would... You know, it's, and it's mostly just an exclamation to myself that I would refer to, pers to a person with, like, just their first name twice. Like, a friend of mine, her name is Laura, and sometimes when she comes online, I would, I would exclaim to myself, Hey, Laura, Laura, you know? How many people actually do that? Or am I just weird? You know? <laughs> well, okay, I already know I'm just weird, but... But I'm, I'm, I'm seriously curious about how many people do that. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go up here, because there's something good up here. Energy tank, of course. There's always good with energy tanks. Yay! And look at this. And I'm just going up here. I'm just going over... Oh, hey, look at this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, hey. And it's... And it's... And you know what else is in here? Proto Man! Uh, yeah, 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 whistle away. Whistle away and let me rapid fire you to death. Come on, there you go. Well, okay, he doesn't die, he just teleports. But still, you know, let me rapid fire you anyways. He likes it fast and hard and rapid. Take that as you will. Uh, okay, we're coming up close to the 20 minute mark already, wow. So after this boss, I'm going to go back to the stage select screen, of course, and I will cut off this segment at that point. And then I will see you in the next segment, which should be released the next day. So, um, uh, <laughs> how does he freeze you while you're in air? How does he do that? Uh, that's, that's a question and I wonder. How does Hard Man freeze you when you're in mid-air like that? How does he do that? Does anybody know? I mean, does Mega Man 
initially grab onto a wall or something to brace himself, and you just can't see it? I mean, wh how's he doing that? Huh. It it's weird. Weird Nintendo mechanics, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, now that I've got the hard knuckle... And we're going back to the stage select screen. So, alright. We're going to see the next segment tomorrow. And until next time, I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off. And remember, um... Yeah, I've got nothing. 